This conference will now be recorded. Um, all right, so good morning. Uh, welcome to the MEC University. Uh, we're going to go over the Acumax Plus digital dial system. I'm Mike Tartaglia, sales application engineer of Marshall Excelsior Company. So when we talk about the digital dial, this is uh, allowing the trucks of tomorrow to be built today. And there's a lot of features and benefits that have been added into the digital dial that I'll go through in depth during this presentation. But to start with, um, we'll go with to talk about the Acumax float gauge. Uh, all the components behind the analog dial and the digital dial are the same. There's stainless steel construction, welded tube decoupling. They're all factory set and precision tuned, and they're all made to each tank. So that means if there's a 72 inch tank or a 74 inch tank, we'll really work to make sure that the gauge is gonna be accurate for that size tank. And even if there's a, um, oh, a cross member or a beam or something inside the tank that may cause a clearance issue, we're able to change the sizing of the tank. Um, so just because there's only so many configurations of float gauge, uh, in the catalog, we make many more configurations than we have listed. As I said, we look to make a gauge that fits that particular tank. So the hardware overview, what is the Acumax Plus? It's a gauge um, to provide the liquid level inside the tank. It connects directly to the mechanical float arm of a standard gauge, and it provides really an easy readout of the liquid level inside the tank. So some of the reasons why we did the Acumax Plus, we're able to integrate the information on the gauge with the handheld PC3 giving the driver the information of the tank level and the gallon or liter percentage on the handheld itself. So if you're at the tank and you can't see the back of the truck, you're able to see how much you have left. Or if you're inside the cab and you've just been rerouted to another tank, uh, fill, you're able to know if you have enough inside the tank to make that stop without having to get out the truck and double check via the gauge. It's an electronic display, and we've included a number of sensors to improve the accuracy and the user experience with the gauge itself. Uh, we've also made it fully electronic, so it, when it takes the uh, magnetic input from the analog part of the gauge, the rest of it's mechan or, uh, electronic, taking away some of those mechanical uh, accuracies that can kind of um, add up over time. So some of the features that we've included with the uh, hardware side of the Acumax Plus, we're able to include a digital readout of the fill level, the percentage fill in a bar graph form, and the volume. We have a magnometer. Uh, it basically takes the analog signal from the magnet and converts it to the electrical signal to measure the float position. There's a 360 degree position sensor included with this. So one of the biggest things that can throw off the accuracy of a gauge is if the truck is sitting not on a level surface. So because the gauge is able to include that position sensor, it can calculate for that pitch and roll of the truck and give you a much more accurate uh, percentage fill on the tank, no matter what kind of road surface the truck is on at the time. There's a light sensor included, which controls the backlight intensity. So that helps with very low light at night. You're able to see it very clearly. And also in the middle of the day in the sun, it changes the uh, intensity of the backlight to allow for those colors to remain very visible during very bright conditions. Um, 
included in that too with LCD is a transflective uh, condition. So that actually helps absorb the light into it and reflects it out. So it's not gonna get washed out in a very bright light. There's also a parking brake sensor. Um, if this option is used when you uh, uh, remove the parking brake to go, start going down the road, it will show just a dash dash on the gauge. And when you apply the parking brake, it'll show the bar graph and the percentage fill. Uh, it's all connected with wiring on that front connector. So it's very easy to install into a well or other connector or other place where an Acumax uh, analog gauge has been used traditionally. It's also highly configurable, and I'll go through that later when I talk about the configuration tool. When we talk about some of the testing and uh, performance evaluation that we did, it's a UL listed class one div one for the digital dial. We went QPS certification class one zone one for the barrier. IP67 for dust and water immersion. Um, we have a sele selectable backlight color. Uh, this is an option for OEMs and customers if they have a particular paint scheme that they're going for, they're able to uh, configure the gauge to match the truck. I've already touched on the true volume percentage that's included on the gauge face, the meter percentage graph, real-time tilt compensation, and the sealed front connector. Uh, it's a double sealed powder-coated aluminum housing, and it retrofits any standard analog Acumax gauge assembly. So they're able to remove the analog gauge, put a digital gauge on, and uh, can upfit the truck to that. But that also works the other way. You're able to um, remove the digital gauge if there's for some reason it needs to be serviced, and put an analog gauge on it to get the truck back on the road. I've touched on the position sensor. So again, that's a 360 degree sensor. So when the truck is on a hill or on a weird incline or uh, at a customer location, it's gonna calculate for that out of balance and be able to still present the true a percentage fill on the gauge face assembly. Here's a picture of the board. Like I said, we took all the analog uh, movement out of that. So it's gonna capture the magnet uh, position from the analog gauge assembly and then convert that to the electronical and then have no more moving parts, which will have higher re repeatability and higher accuracy over the gauge face. There are a couple different ways we could have gone with LCD display. There's the negative, positive, and then we kind of went with a positive display with the Acumax Plus. You're able to see it in all light conditions and it actually looks even brighter under a full light condition. Here's the backlight color options. Uh, so like I said, there's 10 color options available uh, depending on the customer preference. Um, they're able to select any one of those 10 colors to match the paint scheme or the company colors. Yeah, we've uh, gone through a lot of testing, uh, Kendall, on the gauges. Um, I'll have some slides on that, but we've put them in a thermal chamber to not only go to extreme cold conditions, but extreme heat. Uh, to see what those um, conditions would do to the gauge face. And we found very good um, reviews and uh, testing on, at those different extreme conditions. We've had uh, many uh, units in field trial since about April 2020 um, with good uh, responses from the drivers, especially the transport drivers when they're usually filling in the middle of the night or very early in the morning. They're not having to use a uh, flashlight to see uh, what the gauge is rating. They're able to very easily see um, the percentage fill.
And like I mentioned, we did a lot of testing and I'll go through the different um, testing procedures we went through. Again, the, uh, the gauge base is UL listed, class one, div one, and the uh, power conditioning module, the certified class one, zone one. Because this is gonna live on the back of a truck, we also did vibration testing to make sure that none of the electronics or the interaction between the electronic and analog gauge assemblies were going to cause any issues. Um, so this, we actually put it in a vibration chamber, making sure that it would still run under the uh, different vibration condition. We went through IP67 certification, so that's for dust ingress and water immersion. Uh, so with this, with a double seal technology on the gauge face, it withstood the dust intrusion. Uh, so it's gonna be good for any dirt roads, any uh, dirt debris that gets on the gauge. But because of extreme wet conditions, uh, snow, you know, monsoon weather or anything like that. We rated this for full water submersion under IP67. So this is actually running in a five gallon bucket of water that we left in our facility over a weekend and it just uh, continued to run. So any truck wash, any torrential downpour, or, you know, if the truck is at a, you know, being submerged, it'll still operate. Here's kind of the wiring diagram showing the optional parking brake enabled. So um, you have the ground and the power going between the dial and the barrier, and then from the barrier to the truck. Um, it's pretty straightforward, all the connectors are uh, come with the different kit assemblies and you're able to choose the different lengths depending on the truck chassis. This is uh, showing the gauge assembly with the dash dash with a parking brake uh, disabled. So as you're going down the road, if you're using that option, it would show this. And when you apply the parking brake, it would show the full gauge face back on. Here are the different components required to uh, kit the assembly. You have the digital dial, the power conditioning module, the dial harness, the power harness, and the pressure switch. The digital dial can be purchased as a dial or as part of a um, flow gauge assembly. There's the potted uh, power conditioning module that can be mounted interior or exterior to the vehicle. Then we have four different options for the dial harness. So this would be for different lengths of bobtail or if being put on a transport, we have 20, 30, 40, or 50 foot lengths, depending on what's required for the customer vehicle chassis. We have the power harness, which is a 15 foot cable which just requires a 12 volt power input. And then the pressure switch again, which is an optional feature. If the customer wants to tie that to the park, parking brake, can add that pressure switch to show that dash dash on the road. Here's the uh, wiring diagram shown in a little bit more detail with the Acumax plus digital dial and the power conditioning module. So you would have the uh, digital dial installed on the truck with a connector on the front of the digital dial going to the power conditioning module. And then there's another connector that can go to the IRX receiver and to the uh, 12 volt uh, power input. Also on the connector with the digital dial is a option for that pressure switch to include that with the uh, parking brake.
because these are digital, they are uh, highly configured to the each tank. Uh, so for the OEMs, we have this kit assembly available. It has a uh, Windows only uh, program, so it's not configured for Apple product, uh, but they can put that into their computer or laptop. There's a battery, the power conditioning module, and then a short cable to attach to the dial assembly. And you can actually go through this and configure the dial to that truck tank. So in this, you have an option for new dial configuration. You can open a configuration file that's already been completed, or you can read what the uh, connected dial has stored. So most builders would use the new dial configuration as a starting point. Um, if you're building several tanks, they're all the same size. For the same customer, you could recall a common um, setup that could be installed into the dial and save some time to configure that dial. And again, like I said, the, uh, the dial could then be read. You can clone the, um, the information onto a separate dial. But because these are configured to each tank, they're not, um, you cannot just take one off of tank A and put it on tank B if they're different, because then the gauge is gonna be uh, reading the wrong information and will not read accurately to that tank. So in this, um, just showing you know, some small uh, kind of images of how the program works. When you open the new dial configuration, you put in the tank geometry and the flow arm dimensions and where the uh, flow is actually mounted to the tank, if it's in a well or it's flush to the tank or if it's mounted proud from the tank. Um, you're able to put in all that information. You can put in the dial information, configure the color and the other information if it's in five to 95% or three to 97% uh, range, you can put that on there and then you can upload that information to the dial itself and then you can save that configuration if there's going to be multiple um, gauges made for the same customer with the same size tank and again same size tank means the same physical dimensions of that tank not just a 3200 gallon tank um, if it's you know taller and shorter or longer and skinnier it could be the same water column uh, fill or volume, but a different physical dimensions. So as long as the physical dimensions are the same, the configurations can be used again. Installation of the gauge is fairly straightforward. If in a um, retrofit to an original Acumax gauge, you just take the gauge face off you put the digital dial on with included longer screws and run the power cable to the gauge face. And that's the extent of the installation. So again, pretty straightforward. Uh, just need to get power to it via the power cable and the installation is the same as a standard uh, Acumax gauge face. And again, as I mentioned, with the new base IRX receiver, we're able to capture the gauge information from the digital dial and now can send that information to the PC3 universal remote. So if the driver is at the tank around the corner, uh, or the customer tank around the corner from the truck, they're able to see the percentage left on the tank. Or if they're in the cab, they'll be able to read that information as well. So here's just kind of a recap. It's UL listed, uh, PS certified, has tilt compensation, advanced accuracy because of all the electronics inside the gauge face assembly, a sealed easy access front connector, and it's compatible with the Pro Control 3 universal remote. Uh, so with that, that's all I had. Um, Probably Kendall won't see you in Atlanta, but I hope to see you soon. If I'm able to uh, get across the border and get in, up into Canada, we do have a, um, a roadshow van that we hope to get 
across the continental US and hopefully up into Canada as well for some customer events, um, which would show all the um, MEC and base uh, products that we offer. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much for joining me and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Mike. Have a great day.